All right, so uh, we're back on Wall Street Finance once more. Uh, and I actually forgot to mention this in the last video, which was for uh, the Dante Inferno Finance video. Uh, Printer, Printer Financial is launching on Harmony One. Uh, one o'clock my time, so I definitely need to get ready for that. And of course, and I'll actually do a video on that probably shortly after it goes live, and then the APR comes down a little bit, so that's a little more realistic. I mean, it's still gonna say like 155 percent plus or whatever. So, uh, in fact, it, it would probably be better for me to not do the video so quick, so I can farm a little more. But you know, whatever. You know, you know, I we. You know, whatever. It's like, you know, I get rich. I don't get as rich when I tell you guys, because obviously you guys probably and gals come in, right? So, but whatever. We'll be playing more money, so, you know, whatever. In this case, it actually would be better to try to think more like a liberal, where you try to, like, you know, distribute the wealth a little more, whereas conservatives, we tend to be, you know, greedy, selfish fucking assholes, right? And it actually, it actually shows up in a lot of different ways, too, beyond just money, too, right? You know, like, uh... Yeah, I just read an article where, like, some hostage situation took place, so the mother just ran out of the trailer while her crazy, I guess, well, now dead ex-husband, you know, was firing, like, 90 rounds of ammo at the cops, right, because of the hostage situation. But the cops didn't actually return fire. They were actually very restrained because they knew there was, like, like a two-year-old uh, girl in there. So the fucking SWAT team for for that local area comes in and like fires a bullet and then kills the toddler. It's like, it's like, it's like you know some cops are finally kind of figured out that they shouldn't be such ha huge assholes. So now it's the fucking SWAT teams that are being like, be, doing like killing all the fucking people, you know, especially now that they're being used to like you know SWAT and dox people too. So it's just like, it's just on my mind recently because someone I like and know, I'm not going to mention the person's name, uh, actually had that happen to him. And I, I got, I, I'm like pretty pissed about it. Obviously he's alive and fine, but you know, it, it's like these fucking cops, man. I, I fucking, I, I can't stand these fucking cops. So, oh well. Uh, but you know, eventually they're, they're all going to lose all their ammunition anyway. We'll probably have to try to take away their guns too. I like the big guns anyway. You know, and there's other things too, but anyway, I don't want to turn this into a completely different type of video, but anyway, uh, so I want to do a little bit of research, a little more research. Uh, you know, this thing hit as high as like 70 cents. Now it's, you know, pretty settled around 60, 61 cents. Now the problem I'm seeing is I don't know if this is just a problem with my Brave browser, but it looks like the dashboard still is not working. So that's actually kind of a problem because you should be able to get the dashboard working. Like if you're going to tell people you can do all these cool things and these NFTs, that means you should know how to code. If you can't even code the dashboard, I mean, that's kind of like a problem for me because I really want to hold on to this forever, right? I really do, especially with this kind of crazy, uh, you know, daily APR reward, where, reward rate. Uh, but with that being said, you know, I'll have to still stick this out. You know, in fact, I may not even, I may not even do that. I mean, if this thing starts tanking, I'm just going to take my losses and just get out. But, uh, according to this, now they're pushing, well, I think this was always here. Actually, yeah, this was always here because they posted this yesterday. So I kind of figure out when the hell the NFT stuff was coming because I thought it was supposed to be today. It was 24 hours. But this thing is actually running for an entire week. So the way this thing works is, let's see... Uh, oh, okay, so I actually got confused because I don't know how to read. I, I can't read. I gotta, like, make a sign someday and I'll just say, I can't read. Uh, okay, so, the, okay, so, okay, so the 24-hour thing was for Wall Street tokens, but the NFT contest is this. Okay, I got it. And you even have a guy with a blue check mark here. Uh, okay. Well, he looks pretty Chad. All right, he's got the sunglasses. He looks a lot like Alex Becker. If you don't know who that is. Who's this person? I think she's Russian or something close to that, or Georgian. No, that's just heart with a ribbon. Yeah, you got a lot of big people into this. Well, that'll explain why this thing has so much hype. 
Yeah, so, I mean, if this NFT thing actually turns out to be a scam, I mean, this thing's going to zero, like, within, like, five minutes, which is, of course, when I'm still, like, that's, that's like, my primary concern. I still want to see, like, more proof of NFTs. But with that being said, in the meantime, I have until April 13th, so I can probably just hold it until then. Unless, of course, something else bad happens, and then everyone just starts dumping for some reason. All right, but... You know, I'm actually going to be watching this. Uh, I really don't want to connect my actual wallet to this. So I don't know if this is a Brave or whatever. So make a, or a Chrome problem, or it's actually a problem with the DAP. But make a comment below and just say, hey, the dashboard also doesn't work for me. Because this is not supposed to be zero. You're supposed to actually see all this shit here. At the very least, we should be seeing what the treasury is. It's obviously not zero. All right. Uh, and then of course the discord is completely useless the chat that is because everyone is just like I mean everyone I mean I can't say the, that word but everyone is just like low IQ like I'm gonna lose all my money like where's my it's like it's just it's like it's it's just so dumb all right but uh, all right well whatever it's got a lot of marketing hype so I don't care I mean I didn't even look at the views for the videos I did yesterday I mean, all of them pretty much went to Wall Street Finance anyway I even wrote in the description that I think it's a scam Technically, I still think this is a scam, but I'm a little less paranoid. But that being said, I'm still on high alert, right? So, you know, but that being said, I don't mind trying to profit off of this project, too. So, I mean, I kind of have to wait. So anyway, I mean, that's kind of like a quick update video on this. Um, I originally thought I was going to add this to my video, like, projects I'm invested in, but... I only want the actual projects that I know are solid that I'm also wanting to hold in that playlist. So I will not be adding this uh, video to that playlist, right? even though I'm technically, even though, yes, I am invested in this. Why is Andy Nago showing up here? Who's this guy? Ingrid Stern Filmmaker. Oh, okay. Yeah, whatever. Hey, how many people do you have? 58,000. Yeah. Yeah, like every time I see people, especially from the right wing, that then go on to do filmmaking and, you know, Hollywood acting stuff, I'm always actually interested, you know, because I, because I still, like, if I, if I really didn't have to worry about anything, I would actually just go make movies, all right, I just make entertainment, right, you know, I would make great shows, hopefully, like Game of Thrones and Attack on Titan, so, wait, I still haven't seen the series finale, because I'm waiting for the freemium thing on Sunday, so don't be, very, don't be an asshole and spoil it. Because uh, believe it or not, you know, I'm going to actually permanently ban you. So don't fucking do that. Don't ruin the fucking experience for me, okay? And for everyone else, for that matter. So, anyway, uh, but yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. I mean, I guess, well, yeah, I guess I'll have to, because I'm not going to do the research like I did in the last video, because I want this to be short as well. I want to try to take it easy today. You know, in fact, I actually need to go, I actually want to exercise a little more. I want to try to slim down because i don't know why my fucking stomach is expanding like you know fucking grand canyon but it clearly is so i better do something right devs do something so yeah and let's see but yeah so all right so this is fine you know i can wait till april 13th uh the launch that i really am interested in is on april 11th so i don't know i might actually dump my wall street position then Alright, so I don't have to drain so much money from Sphere. Sphere has just been, like, just ridiculous, man. It's just been ridiculous. It's just, it's just making money hand over fist. And, I need, like, I wish I had the full $4,000 to just put in the whitelist, right? Because I totally would have done it. But, um, you know, oh, well. Hey, that's okay. Hey, at least I have, at least I'm doing very well with Sphere, right? I'm not telling anyone, nobody, no fucking nothing, right? No, nobody gets no. Like, if I die, I take it down with me, and then you'll, no one will ever know, all right? So, of course, I hope that that doesn't happen. All right, and it won't. You know, God's going to make sure of that. Yeah, God's going to make sure I get to live, all right? I mean, he's already saved my life many times that I can think of spiritually and physically, so I don't see why he would stop. And, yeah, I mean, this is basically your standard safe food, Titano fork, in case you didn't see my last video. All right, there's really not much to go by on this project. It's the same thing as every other project. The only thing that it has is extreme marketing and the possibility of these NFTs. 
And the, my thing is, this has to have the NFTs. If not, you know, because basically everyone was trying to be this guy, right? The Web3 project. But this is an actual real project. Like, you could just tell just by looking at it. They can code. They can. They have crazy graphics art. Look at this shit. All right? This is... Compare this site, an actual project that's worth the... Uh, right now, it's like 250 260 270 right? After the correction, to this. Or, whoops, wrong page. To, to, to this. I mean, which one do you think it actually has NFTs? Or the capability of creating NFTs? <laughs> You know that that's what that's why, and then of course this thing has a crazy amount of marketing. So there are actual red flags that this is a scam project, right? So with that being said, I don't make fun videos, and I have money invested in this because literally everyone's in this fucking thing, including me. So you know I'm just looking because I already bought a uh, public launch, fifty one cents, very cheap, right? Uh, however, it's not as good as the whitelist because whitelist did not have to pay a tax. I had to pay the 13% tax and probably a little bit of front running too. Because I because on a new launch, I always set the 49% uh, slippage. So I got, you know, I, I put like a moderate, well, not a moderate bag, but like a small medium bag, right? I, mean, I guess I could use the real numbers. I put in 1.6 and then I had to sell some SeaWorld. I put in a total of, I put in 1.65 Binance coin at 51 cents, and then a short while later, like maybe 15, 20, 30 minutes later or whatever, I just played some knife runs in the Cycle Frontier game uh, to pass a little bit of time, I think, or I don't know, I don't remember what I did. But yeah, and then I put in like another like 12 or 18 or 20 percent Binance coin, or maybe it was 9 percent, I don't remember, it was just a little bit more. Uh, and bought a little bit of more Wall Street Finance, and then that was it. And I never touched it since then. Even when it went as high as like 70 cents, and I probably knew I should uh, take a little bit of profit, right? I was like, nah, whatever, I'll just hold it. I don't really care. I mean, I do care, I don't, but I don't care enough to like micromanage this shit, you know? Because again, you know, I'm doing pretty well now, right? America money's kicking ass. Uh, Sphere Finance is kicking ass. Uh, other projects like High Point and Insignus and Caesar, they're still going on through corrections like everyone else. I mean, it's basically doing what the market is doing. So it's doing exactly what it should be doing, following the market. All right. So I'm totally okay with that. You know, and then we got Paper Financial uh, launching on Harmony later. So it's going to be pretty good. It's going to be pretty good. So I don't know. I mean, we'll see. I mean, if this thing drops. Especially if it drops below 50 cents, for, like, unless I see something significantly change in the Discord, right? And chances are I won't. I'm going to just dump my position in this project and then just, just, uh, just take the losses, all right? Because, you know, A, as I always say, the hallmark of a successful person is to admit that you're fucking wrong, right? Trump couldn't do that. That's why he's, uh, you know, chilling in Florida instead of in the Washington, D.C., Right? Because the guy doesn't know how to admit that he's fucking wrong. Right? Uh, you know. And then it's the same thing with like Time Wonderland, right? Everybody couldn't admit they were wrong. So they ride from 10000 all the way to like fucking $50, losing all their fucking money. Right? That's what happened to me. So just, just take your fucking losses. Right? You've got plenty of good projects that are perfectly sound. Right? So you'll get your money back. In fact, you get your money back very effing quickly. Right, I didn't put, I didn't have a lot of money left to put in the sphere, but sphere has made back pretty much. I actually don't want to say. I just realized. I, I actually didn't realize I was gonna actually say the. All right, I'm doing really well at sphere. Okay, so that, that's all you need to fucking know. And I'm only gonna do much better. So probably in a month or two, when I'm feeling a little more comfortable, you know, and there's a lot more price action and development. You know, we got to let this market bullshit play itself out. So probably definitely after the Fed announces a decision, you know, maybe I'll actually make it like another quick like Sphere video, finance video, whatever. It says, hey, Sphere has changed my life and it's doing Bear Titan. And then, you know, share with the community because someone in the Sphere chat actually told me, you know, let them know. It was one of the mods, I think. I think his name was Flow With Water. And of course, the mods never DM you first. So you have to assume it's a scam. I always turn off all my DMs. That's why I also don't like being in a bunch of different discords. Because I actually use it for, you know, to communicate with actual people, you know. So, 
Yeah, but aside from that, I mean, Wall Street Finance is doing okay now. Obviously, I would like to see this thing hit a dollar, hopefully by next week. Uh, in that case, I'm probably, regardless of what happens, I'll probably just pull a lot of my money out. I'm definitely going to pull my initial out. Um, <clears throat> but if they actually come out with the NFTs, they fix the stupid DAP, which apparently is not working. At least for me. I mean, maybe it works for you, so that's why I need, I need you guys to comment on it. And I see something beyond just this, right? Because I need to really see those NFTs. Oh, yeah, because one of you asked, why do I care so much about the NFT? Uh, because it's clearly obvious. Oh, shit, what did I hit? Because it's clearly obvious that the reason why this project is doing so well and all the other bullshit Seifu forks are literally dying is because this is an actual real project with real NFTs. Like, that's literally the only thing that's different about this project, right? The Web3 project. They clearly know how to code. They're clearly a real team with real shit, and it shows in the in their work, right? You're gonna honest, like, you're honestly gonna tell me that this website, the web3project.com, is the exact same as Wall Street Finance. Look at this shit. It's the literal same copy and paste as every other shitty Titan uh, Seifu fork that has failed specifically. The only thing that prevents it from dying is actually this. All right? And then they have crazy marketing. So everyone jumps on the bandwagon because they want to believe they're, they're going to invest in the next Seifu or Web3 or the next Seer. Right? Well, just because you want to believe in something doesn't make it fucking happen. Right? In, in fact, it's the opposite. Right? The only time that will work is when you believe in Jesus Christ and God. And most people can't even do that. So, I mean... It's like, uh, it, it's like Satan gets a good laugh every time some retard like loses a lot of money, right? Because he knows you're one step closer to like, you know, offing yourself in depression and then you'll spend the rest of eternity with Satan or I guess maybe you burn in hell forever. I don't know. I don't know what happens to you there, but obviously it's not a nice place to go. And, and apparently you just can't leave or something, which is kind of insane. So... But yeah, but that's basically it. I and mean, it's about legitimacy, right? The NFTs are everything, right? If they don't have NFTs, then it's over. But if they do give out NFTs, and if they are shitty, then I will hesitantly add this video to the playlist, right? Because I'm because here's the other thing too. Even if it's 100% legit, you still have to factor this in. The APY is so huge that it's just going to print so many effing tokens that the constant sell pressure is going to be pretty nuts once once everyone's done compounding and start dumping constantly. So that's another factor. So, you know, I'm just going to, uh, you know, I'll, I don't know what I'll do, but uh, obviously if I add this video to the playlist, right, the one, the 15 video, the illustrious 15 videos that grace my personal investment portfolio, uh, you definitely are going to have to check back very often because... This is probably one of the first projects I'm going to take off the, the playlist as soon as that dumping pressure starts. So there's a lot of negatives going into this project, right? So it's like, uh, it's like, man, I don't know. But again, I'm only willing to put up with this bullshit because everyone else is like going crazy with it. So I might as well just, just get what I can from it too, right? You know, you know, but basically I'm really treating this project more as like an advanced pump and dump. Right? I think that would be the best way to describe it. And I don't like doing that. I want to buy and hold shit. All right? I want to find the next sphere and buy and hold that, preferably at the bottom, so that I can, when it recovers, it makes a lot of money. I mean, shit, even Titano is starting to look pretty attractive now. In fact, what is the price of Titano? I think it's been getting its ass kicked. 13.38 cents. Yeah, because I'm actually pretty sure that people are actually dumping Titano to buy sphere. I'm pretty sure that's actually what, what is happening. Uh, as in addition to you know normal market pressure, in addition to normal market pressures from fucking asshole uh, cars and motorcycles and fucking retards like that. All right, so you know, but yeah. Anyway, that's a quick video. A quick video. It's like almost 20 minutes. This actually goes longer than Dante's Inferno Vimex video. <sighs> Fuck. Right, will the fucking car just shut up already? So, anyway, 
Uh, but I mean, yeah, check out Wall Street Finance. Believe it or not, if you decide not to invest in this project, I mean, yeah, believe it or not, that's actually fine. There'll be other opportunities. Definitely safer ones where I'd be, where I'd be more confident in, for sure. Uh, but, you know, you want to play a degen play and really take advantage of this crazy APY because the rebase does actually work. So we got that working for them. Uh, you can check it out. But I don't know. I'm even thinking right now I should just dump this. I mean, I bought 51 cents. So I basically kind of break. Actually, let me find out. If I were to dump everything right now, what would I receive? Would I even get back my original money? Because obviously I've been... Uh, WSF, okay. Uh, let me actually set the slippage to 22%. Let me see. The minimum I receive is I'm still at a loss. So I have to actually wait. Okay. You say, you know, I've changed my mind. I will not add this video to the playlist because I'm so unsure about this. So we'll see. We'll see. All right. I mean, the winner will get T, and yeah, I should probably. I'll probably just wait this out a little bit, but, you know, I'm definitely going to have to look into maybe taking some profit for sure. Because some people have already taken profits, so I, th I think. I don't know, I haven't really seen anyone talk about the Elite Discord either, so. Alright, I will see you all later today. It's definitely going to be after 1 o'clock, 1.30 p.m. New York City time, right? Because I want to wait on Printer Financial to, you know, do its thing. You know, I'm going to bridge it over, so hopefully my paper just doesn't disappear. I mean, so far, everything seems to be working, so. And, uh, yeah, like, subscribe, share this video. All right, let's grow the channel. Thank you to everybody who was new. And, uh, I, I, I guess, check out uh, Wall Street Finance. You know my position still. It really hasn't, has not changed at all from the from yesterday's video, so. Um, but, uh, but, yeah, this NFT thing is going to last a week, so that that's at least a week that I can, you know, print money, hopefully. And, of course, I need to see what happens with this. So, and yeah, you got a lot of big people actually uh, kind of playing this project. But if they're playing the project, those big influencers, you can definitely, I can definitely assure you that they're thinking the exact same thing I'm thinking. They're waiting for a chance to dump on you, too. So, I don't know. This is basically like an advanced Ponzi scheme right now. <laughs> it's like... But it makes sense, right? Because this is Wall Street finance, after all. That's what you do in Wall Street, right? You just, it's like musical chairs. Get, you know, get a chair before, you know, you're the last man standing, and then you just get screwed over. Like all those poor soldiers in, like, that Dunkirk uh, movie. I actually watched it a couple days ago. Like, man. And it just goes to show that the British were such assholes t towards the French people. Like, the French actually, the French men actually gave up everything just to save the British. And how did the British repay the French by blowing up one of their ships in the 19... Uh, when did Britain attack France ship World War II? July 1940. Oh, so this might have been before... So this was shortly after the, 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 the Dunkirk evacuation. How fucking ungrateful is that? You know... So, and that's another reason why I just don't, I don't know if it's like a right-wing thing. Yeah, I and mean, that's one of the reasons why people don't like right-wing people, because only a right-wing person would fucking do something like that. I mean, we can't let the Nazis have those French ships and use it against us, so sink them. And then you'd kill all your allies and friends. It's like, I, w I wouldn't do that. And you could say, well, that's a tactical blunder. Yeah, well, maybe you should have some faith in, like, because that's the thing, right? The French were, like, just... You have some faith that because they were going to sabotage their own ships anyway. So it, it, it's it's just like it's just fucking evil, man. So but whatever. I mean, obviously that was in the past, and Churchill uh, was obviously kicked out immediately after World War Two was over. I never understood why that was, and then now that the more I look into it and the more I hear about it over the years, I totally understand why. Like you know, because in fact, I'm pretty sure people in Great Britain must have learned about it because everyone in Britain was grateful for the soldiers to return home so and then they eventually must have found out that all the french people that were left that basically sacrificed themselves to buy time for everyone else to evacuate dunkirk because obviously you have to have soldiers holding back the nazis and the germans right that was the french 
and they all got captured and then we all and then they eventually just get executed by the you know by the nazis because they always had a policy just to execute the prisoners so it was a real sacrifice and then you just, and then you fucking do shit like this right you, it's like like, it's so, so fucked up. Like, I think I understand why, from a karmic, karma perspective and, you know, God's perspective, that Great Britain had to lose its, uh, you know, you know, imperial, their, their empire status because of shit like that, you know. So, yeah, and, and it's deserved. It's deserved. It's like, you know, I know some British people might be like, hey, that's not right. Well, then maybe you should treat people better, you know? Like, I would never fucking do something like that. Which is why God's giving me the keys to the kingdom. Because he knows I'm going to make the right, try to make the right decisions. And not try to fuck over my own people, right? My own allies, all right? I certainly wouldn't sh have them shot because I lack the faith to, you know, because I'm also motivated by fear, right? Like, that, that is literally what Satan is, <laughs> So, yeah. But anyway. Uh, yeah. All right. Well, it's, yeah. I mean, it's going to go up and down. So, anyway, I've rambled on long enough. This video's been way... It's just... just see, that's the thing. That's how you know I don't have much to talk about because I'm talking about literally completely different things because there's just not much more to say about Wall Street Finance. So, I'm not going to put this on the playlist, but comment below if the dashboard is working for you and then maybe it's just a problem with uh, my... Brave browser, which is what I use to stream here, right, or to record. Uh, but I am not attaching any of my real stuff to, to this. All right, I'm just that paranoid. All right, but I'm willing to gamble. I'm willing to play a little bit, but only a little bit. So I'll see you later, Printer Financial on Harmony One. Uh, we'll actually want to talk about more about that, but you know, we'll uh, obviously save it for that video. So thanks and. Uh, Ah, guess I'll see you in the next. Uh, see you in a bit. Thanks.